We are studying a mouse model of a, uh, an amino acid, which is a basic component of proteins, that historically only entered the human food chain early in the 19th century, approximately the time that MS appeared as a human disease. And there are a number of suggestive aspects that implicate this particular molecule uh, as a possible environmental agent in uh, the development of the disease. The hypothesis is that this foreign molecule, which just appeared in, uh, in the human diet, would we have its greatest effects in very early life, that is, in utero, and in the first two years of life when most of the myelin is made. We are suggesting that this early life exposure is a risk factor uh, for subsequent uh, degeneration or uh, injury to myelin that may not, that may be manifest in adulthood 30, some 30 or 40 years later. I would hope that our research contributes to a better understanding of not only the progression that occurs in the tissues, but also ultimately that we have a better understanding of uh, the cause, the root cause of MS.